guys, welcome back to Final Fantasy X-2, and today we're going to be heading to the Calm Lands in order to do our next side quest. Now, once you've finished the Meehen High Road and picked up Kali, as well as Glasgow, uh, you'll get a prompt to come to the Calm Lands, which we're now finally going to answer. This is it! It's time for us to say goodbye to Clasco. Something tells me this is where I'll find my calling. I am in your debt, Lady Yuna. Well, bye. Follow Clasco? Yes, because we're not running all the way across this bloody field. Ah, oh, now what am I supposed to do? Ugh. I was sure this would be the perfect spot, but it's infested with fiends! Gee, I wonder why. I get the feeling he wants something. Oh, I can't possibly imagine what that might be. If only there weren't any fiends here! Ah, I'm so close, so close! Sure, why not? Let's go help him out. Okay, so... It's mission time. Now, this area has a bit of a gimmick, and that there is not just that there is a bunch of fiends hanging around, but some of them, a lot of them, are illusions, and there's only one that's real. Now, the fiends are facing in the direction of the real, of the real one, but uh, for some of them, it's kind of impossible to tell which direction they're facing, like the elementals. So, you know, you have to kind of get lucky there. Not all the fiends are real, some of them are only illusions. Yeah. And uh, if you mess up, then um, the fiends got reset. The point of touch reset, which is really annoying. So it looks like they're facing to the top left, so hopefully should be up here. Now I'm actually having to redo this, re this recording because for some reason my game decided to crash, like uh, while I was in the middle of searching for these illusionary fiends. Like during when I found the uh, second one, which is super fucking annoying. And of course, we're off to a great start already, so you know what? Thousand Needles. And we'll hit him with that Fire Raga. I use what I have. Perfect. So that wasn't too much trouble. Hopefully my game decides not to crash again while I'm trying to search for these bloody fiends, because if it does, I'm going to be really pissed off. I want to believe it's this one. Of course not. If you mess up too many times, then you'll, uh, the fiends will have like arrows over their heads to uh, indicate which direction they're facing. And of course, they throw us four water elementals, so I can't tell which one it's supposed to be. Oh fuck, I almost ran right into that one. So, I believe it's this one. You know what? Storm Cannon. And we're going to use... We'll just use a group Cura. That didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. Oh shit. Hold up. Riku, come back. Yeah, 
you know, Kiraga. I've got you. And we'll use Thousand Needles. And Watergur. That should really just... Oh, fuck. Hey. What? That still didn't kill it? Holy shit. Jeez, this thing's just really not going down. Oh, fucking hell. Thank you. I thought that was never gonna end. Alright! Okay, so hold up, I'm going back to the save one because I really need to restore myself. And it looks like they're all facing towards the guy over here. Yes, indeed. And I think we'll use Protect and then... Hang on. Helm will go for you. Sometimes you just have to bite the bullet. Here you go. Okay, that actually didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. Two more. Come on, we got this. Okay, so it looks like they're pointing to top right. So I imagine the uh, next thing we have to go for is up here. Hang on, let's just check the other side just to make sure. Okay, so it's definitely the one, should be the one on the far left up here. This one? No. This one? Okay, I guess I was wrong. So it must be the one down here then. What the fuck? Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have to go over here for the real fiend. There it is. Oh damn. Hold up, gotta use protect. And this, and... How about Cry Into the Night? You okay? Good reuse of the uh, re of the Requiem Overdrive. Not really as powerful as you would uh, think it would be, though, considering how much MP it bloody well costs. So, in any case, we only have one more thing to worry about. It's definitely got to be this guy. Damn it. You know what? Protect. This and. You know what? We're going to use. 
Annihilator. Oh, fuck. Hold up, where is my Chocobo Feather? Give that to Pain, and then I'm going to use Annihilator. And hope to god that she doesn't end up dying this time. There we go. Thank you, Pain. Turned on? No. That should do it, right? Faint? Oh no. Still got one more thing to take care of. What should I do, Lady Yuna? We'll sit back and we'll take care of it for you, because you're completely useless. And I love how we decide to jump right on top of it. Alright, so we'll use Shell. As for you, we're going to use... St you know what, how about let's try Stone Breath. And then Thundaga with Riku. You've got to be kidding me. Hey, got him. Oh, thank you so much. At last, my dream can come true. What dream? My dream of raising the Chocobos. Ranch. No one will bother me here. I can finally raise Chocobos in peace. Good luck. Oh, no. I can't raise anything without a Chocobo. <laughs> You've got your work cut out for you. Great planning, man. So, the mission is technically complete, but there is actually one more thing we can do for good old class, though. Also, we got the Alchemist Sphere and the High Roads uh, Karma Grid. Alright, so, you know how we've encountered a couple of Chocos during battle? Well, now we'll actually be able to, um, cap- We'll be able to capture them now. I have a board here, so you won't have to worry about a thing. You can send it out for search for items, so that that's not something we need to worry about just now. Alright, so... Junk food greens. Wait, what? Carry up to 99. Okay. Alright, so one of the things we want to do is at least go out into the Calm Lands and... Hold up, I'm gonna alter... Slow proof, stop proof, use haste... Which one did I have equipped, Riku? Protection Halo, okay, so I'm gonna uh, go over to Protection Halo and I'll equip Alchemist. Because uh, that's actually going to... I'm going to be using that for quite a while as Riku, so... I'm going to do a couple of battles, and hopefully... Uh, Chocobo decides to turn up. Why is nothing showing up? Oh no. You know what, let's get out of here. Run. Bye. Well, that was embarrassing. 
You know what, we'll equip Riku with that. That's not supposed to happen. We're not supposed to run into these guys. Goodbye. Seriously? This isn't funny. Bye. Why? Okay, if a chocobo doesn't show up within the next couple of minutes, within the next uh, couple of encounters, rather, then I'm just going to uh, capture one off screen. I'm actually not going to be, be looking forward to the whole chocobo raising uh, side quest that we're going to have to do later for 100%, but uh, we're just going to be saving that for uh, chapter 5. Fucking hell. <sighs> just my luck, huh? Oh! Nice! Okay, hold up. Give it to me. So, what you want to do... Is when a chocobo enters battle, you want to give them the green so that they don't run away. Is it me, or does this outfit have an owl bed thing going on? It certainly does. Yep. So, uh, with Alchemist, uh, basically it allows you to use items much faster, as well as use their secret stash items. Like, stuff like Elixir, for example. So anyway, don't attack the Chocobos, you want to give them the greens to keep them calm so they don't run away, and then give them the greens again so that you can capture them. Anyway, I think I'm going to keep uh, Riku equipped with the Alchemist Dress Sphere. Because it's actually one of my uh, favorite Dress Spheres to use, so it's actually one of the more hand, uh, helpful ones. Oh, and if sometimes when uh, you come back you find like a mini Chocobo that's just... Oh, hold up. Yeah, so you could just find like a mini chocobo just uh oh, waiting around. Yeah, so anyway, we're not gonna bo uh, bother with this just yet, because uh, we're gonna save that for chapter 5. But at least uh, Clasco has a chocobo. But now that that's been sorted out, uh, one more thing we're going to do while we're here is we're actually going to head on over to the travel agency. Because there's actually um, one fucking phone. I thought I silenced that. Anyway. So, so, head on over to the travel agency, because there's actually one more scene we need to watch. Hi, Summoner Yuna. I am Leon Ronso. We have not met. Nice to meet you, Leon. And this is... Aid Ronso. No, I was actually talking Aid. about the little chocobo behind me. <clears throat> we are happy to meet you. The little chocobo was just a shortcut to go to the uh, ranch whenever you come here. Yeah. Elder Kimari tells of your journey together. But please, do not speak to Elder of meeting Leon and Aid today. Why not? Oh! You must be the two kids who left Mount Gagazet, right? Oh no, they've caught- they're, they're on to really us. Worried. Should we take them back? Yeah. Too late. What? Bye. I 
can really move. Yeah, so whenever you decide so yeah, the good old Choco shortcut, but uh, we don't really need that because we're pretty much done here in the Calm Land, so... Just got one more side quest to worry about and then we'll actually be able to do the story. So anyway, I think that's enough for this part, so thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.